Main point of this video is auctions and how much there is to be made at them. I just took 51 bucks and in about a year and a half, I turned it into $26,000. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's lots of money at these local auctions around you. I buy some crazy stuff at auction. It's not really crazy, somebody needs it. But I like the weird stuff, that's for sure. And I'm gonna go around and show you some of the weird stuff that I've got just now. There's no end to this stuff. I've got one, two, three, four semi, 40 foot semi trailers, 40 to 48 foot semi trailers full of junk. Three, four, <laughs> four storage containers. So, no wait, three storage containers. Yes. So lots of junk everywhere, buildings full up to the brim, and I just can't stop buying. I got room in there, I'll probably end up filling up, up with stuff. So here's a quick video just running around talking about this stuff and how I took 51 bucks and turned it into 26 grand. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I buy all kinds of stuff at auction. All right, what are you doing? Got the snipples or something. I buy all kinds of stuff at auction. I mean all kinds of stuff. For instance, there's a digital spectrometer. This video is about a battery testing machine. I bought all these USA product Ski One ski racks, locking top ski carriers for your car. Problem with these is nobody has a drip rail anymore to hook them to. But I got these all for a dollar a set. So I know I got something to sell. I got cadaver dummies, I got more inside. Got a pocket of stinking, yeah, deodorizer and detergent. Even got the pump thing for the cadavers. Look at the seats for the van. Check that out. That's a, there's a moose antler table back there. There's an old chest. All kinds of cool stuff. This van is so freaking clean. Check this out. Look at the van's full of stuff that I got at auction half full. We filled this van up, filled my excursion up, and filled up the Explorer twice with the last auction. I got all the airplane lights from the airport. All kinds of them. Got this Bentley, but that's a whole different kind of auction. That came from Japan. These are the main anatomically correct dolls now. They can plug all this stuff into them. They got they plug into a computer and everything, man. That's the mom. That's the dad. She can have a baby. There's all the babies for it. What are you doing, Vlad? Baby. Baby. There's another dude. There's all the computers for him. Here's the arms that they can stab with their little needles and stuff. There's even a pecker there. How about this? I got the old super pretzel machine. Everybody remembers them in the bowling alley or the. Well, heck, nobody even remembers a bowling alley nowadays, I'll bet. Pretzel, huh? Yes. Flashing road signs. Yeah, flashing road signs. That's a stack of school desks. So it's pretty safe to say I buy a lot of stuff at auction. Is there money in buying this junk at auction? This is an Arvin battery fuel cell tester. I bought it for $51. When I put the video up of the trailer load of this junk, I bought the airport lights with it. So many people <laughs> made fun. Like, you don't even know what that does. Like, no, I didn't know what it does, and I still really don't know what it does. But I sold it to the University of Somewhere, and I sold it for about $26,000, $27,000. So from $51, let's just say twenty-six to 26000 Yes, there is absolutely money in buying this garbage, at auction. It's not garbage. That machine was brand new. It was never used. I'm gonna put this video up of my buddy came over and it's three phase. I didn't even have the correct kind of power to buy it, run it. But I had the money to buy it, especially at $51. And the thing is, is I knew it was expensive. I knew it was a really high tech machine and I wanted it just because of that. These medical cadaver dolls, they're big money. People pay big money for these things. And I'm going to be the guy trying to get a little bit of less than big money. Like this Adam Comp 2000 DC Arc. It's a spectrometer, a digital spectrometer, man. It's pretty cool. It's way beyond my knowledge. I got all the computers to run it and everything. But even though it's beyond my knowledge, so what? This is it. And I'm going to sell it to somebody. I think I paid, I won't even say. I paid $51 for the other one. I didn't pay much for this. I don't even remember, to be honest. So, yeah. I, a lot of people at the auctions that I know say that he, I'm, I'm a hoarder. I'm hoarding inventory. I put this stuff up for sale. That's like not hoarding, that's selling. But these small auctions in your town, this neat thing is, is if it's in your town and you're the one there, 
well, even a couple towns over, like I went to a whole different town 120 miles away, 150, just to get this stuff. And I'm here to tell you, there's a lot of money in it. Check out the auctions around you. See what you can make on something. Give it a shot. I mean, it's cheap to try some of these items. And it's really easy to look up the stuff beforehand, go preview what you're going to buy, and decide how much you're going to pay for it. Sometimes you're getting a little bit of a bidding war, though, just because you feel like you can make some money on something. Well, I feel like I can make some money on the stuff I bought. Check my new videos for stuff that I've just bought. And there's going to be auction-type stuff like this coming up. It's not just cars. So here's the video of making the machine run and what the machine was. Thanks for watching. Here you go. Well, I'm pretty stoked because I just did a video and I'm, uh, I started it up. I showed it running and stuff. I'm here to tell you this here machine is pretty cool. I had to rent a um, actual generator because it's three phase. And look at this thing, man. I showed it in a previous video, but I finally sold it. Um, this thing's never been used. There's tags on all the gauges. And if you look over here, it's got the little nipple covers on all this stuff. Right here, they never even hooked it up. A hundred and forty thousand dollars, hundred and forty grand to the college, and they never even used it. But I just got it sold. I actually had to get the generator, get it running. This is a quick video about that. It's just kind of cool. And I'll tell you what, saying again, this thing's brand new, man. This is one heck of a machine, and the college that is buying it, I guess they have three of them, and I'm really kind of excited for them because theirs are really old. They've been using them. This thing is a, um, what did you call it? I don't know. It's been socked away. It's a barn find. Thanks for watching. Here we go. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Just a quick update video. All kinds of cars still for sale. He drives this. It is bad to the bone. He's redone everything on it. It's a pretty nifty truck. I had to get a quick shot of it while I was up here because I absolutely love a dent side for it. And you know, you gotta have a toolbox if you've got a dent side for it. I just have to move a generator to get my three phase going. Switch rotation. Okay, those Aziz. wires can go any combination. It's just any two that you switch changes rotation the other way. So well, if you did the white and red, it changes the other way. You do the white and the black, it changes. If you do the red and the red and the black, it changes the no other motor, way. But there's no motor, so it shouldn't matter. What's that? There's no motor. So there's no motor, matter. so unless it's some kind of weird sensitive that it needs clockwise rotation, but I don't think so. Okay. Shouldn't hurt it because there's no machine that says, yeah, this is what you got. Okay, Aziz, we got it hooked up here and we're going to start it up. It is all correct to this. And you told me where the lights were, so I will start this compressor and do it to it. I just got to get this sob done soon. Went into town, got the uh, whacker. It's a whacker. Got the generator. Going to power it on. It's a self auto starting or what have you. My buddy came over and wired this thing up. <laughs> and it pushes that thing off. And the minute you open this door, safety thing. So let me get that right. Hang on. Okay, so I opened the breaker. I've already dialed in my voltage. The right hand 208. Got 208 volt, three phase, baby. And this is the machine. So I'm gonna make a video for them. Okay, got it running. Got it open. It's on. And when I turn it on, it starts blinking up top. That is blinking, like you said it would be. And then once I push that green button. Fans came on. I hope you can see they're spinning in the video. They're all spinning. And you got a green light here. You got another light somewhere oh, right here. And then over here, there's a flashing red and a green. A flashing red and a green. A solid green. There might be more lights, but there's all kinds of doors on this thing. And all kinds of lights. Everything's powered up here. These are green and red. This one over here is solid green. And there's no middle one. And that is it. Okay. So that's what I rented this big generator for was to do this, 
and make a quick video where they can see it work. So now I'm gonna power it off, go inside and send this video out. Government waste, they never even turned this thing on. Now it's going to a university back east. Well, that was it. And that's a cool machine. And for $51 to 26,000, that's a pretty big markup. You're not gonna make that markup buying new stuff and selling it to people. You're gonna have to go out, search out and find deals. And at the local auctions and stuff, there is some deals to be found, I'm here to tell you. So that's the whole video. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel. There's like seven, 8,000 of them on there. Videos that is. And subscribe. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you. Goodbye.